<laughs> yes, sir. Come on, give me a cup. I think he is deserted. We're doing something. Turn your mics on. Mine's on. Good morning, everyone, and I'd like to remind everyone to please make sure all cell phones are turned to the off or vibrate position. Also, please be advised that our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast Channel 99, AT&T, UVerse, and the City of Gaston YouTube channel and broadcast on WMGJ. The meeting of the Gaston City Council will now come to order. The chair will call on the city clerk, Ivan Nelson, for the roll call. Councilwoman Tolles? Here. Councilman Williams? Here. Worthy? Here. Back? Here. Wilson? I'm not sure. Maybe he's in the building. Uh, Cannon? Here. Reed? Here. We have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Heath Williamson to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the blessings, Father. We thank you for the season. We thank you for forgiving us more than anything, Lord. And we pray that you lead us, guide us, and direct us, Father, to always know your will, to serve you, and uh, complete your will in accordance with uh, all that you would have us to do. Lord. We just pray uh, that you guide us through this meeting and the, uh, for the remainder of this year and the year ahead, Lord. Just let us be about your business. And we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the Public Work Committee work session and the council meeting held on December the 4th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payments of accounts for the week of November the 30th through December the 6th. So move. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, okay. motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Mayor's not here. Any proclamation? Okay. Unfinished business. We have none. Uh, we have a resolution here authorizing change order number one for bid number 3380 for community center renovation project. This is phase two and it's located at 2000 West Megan Boulevard. This is for the purchase and the installation of furniture for the police department portion of the complex. And the amount is $35,560. Increase the contract with Hudak Construction Company to $1,105,560. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Is there any new business? Yes, Madam President, I do have one item of new business. It's, uh, it's a resolution granting easement to, uh, the, to Alabama Power to extend their system and serve the municipal offices being constructed adjacent to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I ask that we consider this one today. Second. Third. The vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Clerk. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Are there any more new business? Yes, Mr. President. I have two I'd like to uh, introduce, please. I'd like to ask for unanimous consent. The first one is a resolution authorizing Section 108 public offerings. 
loan guaranteed assistance program to refinance existing notes, and this is our uh, our HUD thing. Second. This wasn't mine to introduce, but the person's not here was supposed to introduce this. That's the, he just did. Oh, he just that's did the, that. Just okay. the, Clerk, please take the vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move for adoption, please. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Are they, is there I any have, more in the I business? have one more, Mr. President, please. It's a I'd like to ask for unanimous consent, please. It's a resolution reappointing Ricky Hunter to the Waterworks and Sewer Board for a term to expire on November 1st, 2024. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt, please. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Do we have any department reports, committee, board reports? Remarks by the council. Councilman uh, Reed, we'll start with you. Yes, I don't have anything this morning. Thank you. Councilman Kenneth. I don't have anything at this present time. Thank you. Councilman Williams. Thank you, Madam President. The, the only thing I'll say is I, I do want to extend a thanks to our uh, police officers. Um, I think they've been very visible over the holiday season, which serves to uh, serves to present a deterrent to a large degree uh, for a lot of uh, uh, unsavory activity. So I do do appreciate that. Uh, and I want to, you know, continue to encourage them to, to do much of the same uh, as, it, as it relates to that. I think over the last couple of years, I've also, our officers have done a very good job in uh, doing their part as it relates to uh, preventing some preventing the criminal element from being able to to, to function unabated. So, so we do do appreciate their support there, and um, and that's it. Thank you, Councilman Perry. I don't believe I have anything today. Council, uh, Warren President, may I say one thing, please? I'd just like to say I appreciate the two police officers Saturday night that went be of and done their call of duty on uh, North 11th Street up there, and they got those two ladies out of the car. Uh, I really appreciate everything they did. It was cold and wet that night. I know how wet they was waiting up in that water trying to get those people out. And I just want to let them know that I really do appreciate everything they've done. Thank you. I do have something. Councilman. I'm sorry, but uh, I want to say, I uh, want to uh, make an announcement of the Christmas parade. Carver Violation Christmas parade will be this Saturday. I think it's at 5 mm -hmm. or 6? 5. 5 on uh, Tuscaloosa Avenue. So we invite everybody to come out. And I also, I almost forgot, uh, we have a uh, some students here from Gaston City with Miss Kimball. Yeah, you like to, we thank you for bringing them. You want to introduce your class? Can she do that? Mm -hmm. That was down here on my paper to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. You just no, wait a minute. No, you, <laughs> you go ahead. You go ahead. Miss Watts, uh, Miss Kimball, why? <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Yolanda Kimball, and I am a business education teacher at Gaston City High School. Um, every year, as we near the end of our semester, we bring our management principals class. Uh, we talk about business. On yesterday, if you guys get an opportunity to go to the school's website and look for the man management principals class presentation, they, presenta they presented a business plan uh, for a business that they could actually start we came up here, we did our due diligence, we talked about what it would take to get a business license. We went by the Chamber of Commerce, they did a lot of research, and they put together a well-developed uh, business plan. We had a board member, we had a, um, a uh, mortgage representative from, 
Alabama Teachers Credit Union, and then we had a former student who is a business management major at Alabama A&M University to come and to evaluate their program. They were very impressed with them. So um, we have several field trips that we do every semester, and every semester it's a different class. Um, this year, my class enrollment was really small. We only had five. Uh, and one of those was not able to be here, but we have Miss Olivia Goins, we have Miss Samia Guyton, we have Miss Takiria Watson, and Mr. Rajon um, Turner, and they are bright and shining examples of our uh, youth, and we are just so proud of them. Thank you all for having us. Thank you. Thank you, you. you. Miss Kimball. We we appreciate everything that you do every every year. You bring us a new batch and uh, of, of smiling faces, and we appreciate it. Uh, congratulations to you, you young folks, and keep up the good work. Uh, <clears throat> Councilman Back. I would like to just uh, <clears throat> remind everybody the Salvation Army roadblock, uh, good Lord permitting, will be this Saturday from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock at uh, Gadsden Mall. Uh, the budget this year is about $68,000, and if you walk by or hear a kettlebell being rung, please uh, reach in your pocket and put some change in there. Uh, we'll even take some folding money. Uh, it goes to a great cause. Uh, the motto is doing the most good, and Salvation Army has been engaged in Etowah County now for 103 years. And if you just stop a second and imagine what our county would look like if there wasn't a Salvation Army. We have a feeding program, uh, we have a shelter, and uh, there is a large, large need for what the Salvation Army and numerous other organizations provide to our city and, and to our county. But uh, in fact, we're looking for volunteer bell ringers. If you haven't had an opportunity to ring a bell at any of the 22 locations in, in the county, please take a minute to think about that. It really means a lot, and you have a lot of fun. You get out there and you're freezing, your hands are numb, your feet are cold, but you're really doing a great service, and it's just a wonderful thing to do. It's a great family tradition. So I wanna encourage everybody just to remember the Salvation Army and, and those in need as we approach this, this Christmas season. Thank you. Back, just, just in, I guess in memory of, uh, of uh, Joseph Bri Reverend Joseph Brazel, one of the things he used to say is uh you know he he had he, I, I think we should remind people that many of the uh many of the bell ringers have earaches this time of year so it's important to give quiet money when you uh <laughs> when you make that contribution not, oh, not like the noisy that. money just the quiet money <laughs> i like that that's good yeah quiet money's better than the <laughs> loud money. there you go um my final announcement is i'd just like to thank the people who come on a regular basis to attend our city council meetings uh, it shows your concern for our city and which leads me into we have established a committee we already have committees but we're having regular committee meetings on a regular basis and there's a schedule but if you have an opportunity to come to a public work committee meeting this is your opportunity to have a voice in the city it's easy to talk about what we don't do, and you can come and help us do, or you can help come and make suggestions. So I'm encouraging you, starting in January, pick you out a committee and come and sit in on this committee. Most of them start at 9 o'clock, but we, we appreciate you all, and we thank you all for coming to our council meetings and supporting the city. If nothing else, I'll ask for adjournment. Sure, so Second.